Well, there are eight days left before the election, and the presidential campaigns are putting a lot of their time and resources into North Carolina. They're trying to convince people who should get their vote and to get out for that vote, but the numbers also show few people still don't know who they prefer on the ballot. Nine in your signs, Madeline Ashley is live in Greenville. And Madeline, how much does this last minute campaigning really help? Ken, Angie, it's really up in the air. Polls show most people in North Carolina already know who they're going to vote for. Now, there may be some persuading, but it's pretty much people already know who they're going to vote for. It's an exciting group to be part of, uh, and we believe that we're saving this country. We're leaving nothing on the table. And we're leaving nothing to chance. That means North Carolina is going to hear a lot from the Trump and Biden campaigns as the election nears. We're going to see some more upcoming visits uh, from more principals. Um, North Carolina is huge for us. It's extra important that we as a campaign get out there both physically in terms of visits to battleground states like North Carolina, um, as well as what we can do via broadcast and, and digital. Polls show no more than 4% of North Carolina voters are still undecided. The campaigns want every one of those votes they can get. The momentum is clearly in our favor. Um, if we look at battleground state polling, uh, even, the, even the polls that show that we are losing in battleground states, those polls have tightened. President Trump and his team have made repeated trips to the Tar Heel State. He is going to be about the busiest man in all of America between now and Election Day. Biden's campaign says these rallies won't save the president. COVID is running rampant across our country, especially North Carolina. I wouldn't say it's the safest thing for the state right now. So I think voters see that. They all know the top of the ticket has a big effect on others on the ballot. We are one team, one mission in this state when it comes to the Democratic Party. We're working to elect Democrats up and down the ticket. We know that this president can't be a really effective president unless he also wins the Senate. And that's why we hope that people like Tom Tillis, uh, who are in tough races, uh, are going to triumph. North Carolina voters have until Saturday to cast their early ballots. Then they'll be able to vote on Election Day next Tuesday. Live in Greenville, Madeline Ashley, 9 on your side.